Randy, you say you bitch to these girls in my presence again, I'll knock your ass out. You kiss my ass, John. Tag your feet. Apologize. Randy, you need to listen to him. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming in here this morning. My name is John Taffer. I have opened, conceived, marketed, or operated more than 800 bars, and I'm going to give you everything I got. I want to really talk for a couple minutes now. Greg, do you make exactly the same drinks and recipes that she does? Well, there's no set recipe list. So the answer is no? Yeah. There is not a set trainer. And as bartenders, we take liberties, but we kind of have a lot of freedom as far as making the drinks. And so I think some consistency there would help a lot. We can't manage our costs that way. But that's why management has to manage. Have you made any effort to achieve it at all? Has he trained anybody in this room? I mean, I feel like, I feel like we're working with, with adults here. I'm not a babysitter. You are a babysitter. Welcome to management. I expect them to act like adults when they're at work and do what they're supposed to do. And they expect to be led by somebody who takes them down a path of success. Are they leading you to success? Who the hell's making money? No one. You're the one who's wrong. The crazier thing than not knowing what the, the drink ratio and everything else is, is letting a TV barman come in here and change the bar overnight. First of all, I'm not a TV barman. I've got a 35-year reputation in this business, and there is nobody more respected in our industry than me. And these frickin' cameras don't mean to me. Brad doesn't care, so Steve is on a free-for-all. This place has no controls at all. You now work for me. You guys work for me, too. I'm gonna take this place, and I'm gonna change every dynamic of it. If I come in with some chicken cup, you're gonna hear about it. I fought for that turtle and to prove that it was different, and we're proud of it. So I'm not gonna get rid of the turtle unless he comes with the wow factor, and he better come strong. The cup you have now is a piece of cup. So I'm going up, I'm not going down. Bars are about reactions, right, guys? Something I noticed is there's no logic to the direction of pourers back here. Pourers for call brand liquors always swing to the right, label faces out. If I'm gonna buy a premium product, I want you to see that label. The bar brand faces to the left, and the label faces me. Simple. You show them the great stuff, you don't show them the other stuff. Subtle things like that make a big difference, guys. Just looking at these drink machines, they're just churning all night, all night. Is there fresh juice in the turtle? Yes. Yeah, we make it batch by batch. Once a week, we break down all six machines. Now, after you finish cleaning the machine, what do you do with that product? We put the product back in there. There's juice in that product. Could be in there for months, isn't it? You keep adding and adding and adding to old product, correct? That's not cleaning. You're topping off. It's really nasty to think that they just top off what was already in there. So you could have some really old drink in that machine. Now, could you do that with another food product? Could you take bad gravy and just keep adding more gravy to it? No. Guys, you can't do that with citrus juices either. You've been in the business 17 years, you don't know that? This is it's not If you want to communicate, communicate. What I'm saying isn't Steven. I'm not going to tolerate that, man. If you think it's you're in the wrong frickin' business. It just seems like every time I turn around, something is done wrong, it's all my fault. Brad needs to be accountable. Other people have to be accountable for it, too. Not only me. You're selling me out every time we turn around in this I thought he was pretty hard on Steve, and maybe he was an easier way, an easier scapegoat because he's here all the time. But guess what? I'm just as responsible as he is for some of this stuff. Are you angry right now? Because I'm not making a fool out of you. Candidly, you're making a fool out of yourself. All I'm doing is reacting to what you're saying and you're not saying. So if you want to stop looking like a fool, I suggest you start giving me some intelligent and responsible answers, and then you'll stop looking like a freaking fool. That stinks from cat piss. That's my start on this bar. Mm -hmm. Why'd you make her a drink? Sweet tea sour. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Is there something in that bottle? There's something. Wait, 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 wait. Come back here with that. Oh, I told them about this already. She turned that upside down, and there's something floating around in there. There's a cockroach in there. That's unacceptable. She was going to serve that to me. Look at it, floating in there. How many other liquor bottles are like this? At least I've never two. Seen one like that. Can you have a mixing glass?
Look at it. There's one of them. Look at that, guys. That's a roach. That is disgusting. I'm out of here. I don't want to touch anything else or see anything else. I'm repulsed. You can't have that much filth and that many bugs in a place unless you just don't care. How often do you see a roach? Every day. A few every day? A few every Probably. Day. What are you seeing? That they walk across the bar? Yep. Yeah, we had them in our cash registers with our money. When people ask about headhunters, they're like, oh, that bar that smells real bad? That's us. And what does our owner say about this stuff? Nothing. I'd like to meet this guy. Where the hell is he? How are you? Steve, Steve John Taffer. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Let's walk over here and talk for a minute. Sure, let's go. My wife orders a drink. The bottle's filled with a cockroach and bugs. Wow. The other liquor bottles are filled with bugs. The staff told me that they see cockroaches every day here. There's no for a day. cockroaches in bottles. Let's go ask them. Chloe? Yes. How often do you see cockroaches here? Uh, about every day. About every day. So your staff is pulling your liquor bottles. They're telling me there's roaches here every day. You don't see it. You don't know it? Chloe, why don't you tell me uh, about this? Why, why, why are you telling you? him that, but not me? I've told you that we have a problem. You own this place. You're supposed to know these things. There are no bugs in the bottle. Do you know this is happening or not? Yes or no? Do you know it? Do I know what? That there's bugs all over your bar. There's bugs all over Austin. There's bugs all over America. This is a college town. They don't want clean. It's not the culture. Austin doesn't like that. Is it a sterile? Clean room environment? No, it's not. We're not in that business. You came down here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I came here to but fix your bar, but oh, I can't I fix that. a bar when I'm pouring cockroaches out of glasses, man. I'm Come on. I'm impressed. With all the experience and knowledge you have in the world, you got all the way here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I'm <laughs> astonished. Really? Steve can't admit to anything. I tell him there's bugs in his drink, he says there's no bugs in the drink. This guy is filled with excuses and holds himself unaccountable for everything. That's gonna change. I know day. when I see it. I've been they are there. Either you knew it and you didn't give it Are you gonna lower your voice and you talk like a it. man? No, because you're frustrating the hell out of me. I'm and when I talk to idiots, I get loud. I'm, you I'm live amongst shocked. a mess of shocked. cockroaches. Shocked that you're professional. You know what Crazy, a professional man. is? Yeah. A professional is you don't serve bugs to your customers. Oh. Maybe you're the biggest bug. I'm responsible, even if Steve isn't. I've only got five days to fix this bar, and I think it's the worst bar I've ever seen. So I'm bringing my experts in right now, and we're going to work. Jesse's going to walk the bar and see what other bugs and filth I haven't seen yet. And Joe's going to come behind the bar with me, and we're going to see what's going on back there. There's mold everywhere in these ceilings. This place has never been cleaned. You see all that? That's all mold growing. I never noticed. Yeah. It's not connected to the ceiling, it's falling in your drink. That's right. Which means you're drinking mold. Let's show what happens when a moron defends failure. This is what happens. Oh my god. There is about 30 cockroaches in there. Look at that. Seeing that many cockroaches was disgusting. Look at this, guys. Those are bugs. Those are cockroaches. He had people standing in the crowd looking at him with utter disgust, and he was still sitting there smiling and laughing, thinking it was a joke and that it was funny. It's not a joke. This is the livelihood of a good 10 to 15 people. You need to get angry at this. You need to be embarrassed about this. Take Jeez. accountability. John Taffer flew off the handle about bugs, so we created a drink after him called the Bug Bomb. I am going to get on the phone, and I am going to fumigate this building tonight. You didn't have the balls to do it. I'm going to. You didn't write the check. I'm going to. I, your employees, Joe, and you, Jesse, are not walking back in this building until we can do so safely. And you, my friend, are an Being friends with the employees is great and all, but it's hard to really get the guys to do what I want them to do on a regular basis. But at the same time, you know, I enjoy them being here because they are my friends. Let's get Matt over here. Matt. I'm John. Matt. How you doing? How many shots have you had tonight, man? Seven or eight. So let me ask you a question. Do you think a drunk employee can be effective ever? Not all the time, though. You have something to say? Not yet. I look at these guys. They're not just staff and my co-employees kind of thing. These are my friends. I mean, we've been friends since high school. There's an understanding there between us that, hey, John, Darian, get the up. Next time you ever drink in this place, I'm going to fire you and love it. You take one shot, you're gone. I sent six girls in here tonight. One of those girls came in with this driver's license. Does this look real to you? Then the same girls go up to the bar there 
He doesn't check their ID, and he starts serving them all shots. It's irresponsible. That's a fake ID, and you know it. You, you guys took it. My guys don't let any through. You know it. This came through the front door of your bar. And Guys, I'm gonna f him for years. You're gonna sit here and throw us on the bus. Shut up, our car. This license made it through the door. You guys let it happen, and then you served them, and then you had four shots with them in 20 minutes. This is as fake as fake can be. Look at this. That's why we have the reputation we have. So how about an apology? Sorry. 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 This is our freaking liquor license, guys. This could close this bar down for good. This is serious. Yeah. Y'all want a shot? <laughs> That's a move. And you wonder why girls don't want to come here. He's the reason why. He yelled at Darian, and that's my boy. That's that's my friend. He's not my boss. That's my friend. Either you need to be a manager and create standards, or you got to close this place and recognize that you're going to lose money. That's the deal, guys. He told me my bar sucked, and it hurts me. But at the same time, you know, having these guys here showing me that they have my back, in the long run, I think it's going to pay off. I'm so on edge right now. I want to rip somebody's head off. I don't know, man. This is a bag of You know it. Uh, the thing is, I mean, I hope this all works. Great bars survive because of great experiences. Fixing businesses is easy. Fixing people is tough. When you shake a drink too much, that changes the character of the way it looks and the way it tastes. That's why martinis are stirred. You can see that it's misty coming out. Yeah. OK? It's meant to be crystal clear. It's not a good martini at no. all. This. Hey, this is kind of kind of gnarly, dude. Do you order it? There's no way to talk to your customers. What does taste right? Uh, gin and soda would be fine, man. Inside voices, please. Look at this guy. Chill out or get out. I don't go to your bar and act like a. From what I can see, Tim is not a very nice guy. He insults customers who order premium drinks, and then he screams at customers for talking loud in his bar. Is this guy nuts? There they go. I'm not surprised. Why would you stay there? Other than the three customers I sent in, those were the only four people in a whole bar, and he chased them away. Where'd you go? Apparently, I make drinks. How is it? It tastes like flat PBR. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, even Sarah thinks the drinks suck. Let me make you guys some drinks. Actually, I want to try the French I'm going to toss these. Fish 75 is great. Done. Thank you. Bing. You know what? We got a superstar in her. Yeah, I think so, John. Did we make those right? It's actually really good. You know why? Because <laughs> I didn't touch the bottle, probably. <laughs> Tim doesn't like the fact that his wife stepped in and is doing better than him. You should hope she does better than you if you want to make money. I've seen enough. OK. A belligerent owner insulting his customers. It's all wrong. And it's time for me to go in and do my work. Hi. Well, hello. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Sarah, nice to meet you. Welcome. Tim. Tim, good to meet you guys. The only people here are the three that I sent in. This is Clay. So you manage bars professionally. Yeah. If he was your bartender for a year and a half, standing there not knowing those drinks with his arm crossed like that, what would you do? He wouldn't be here a year and a half. You'd fire his ass, right? Bingo. Do you think it's funny that you don't know how to make any of the drinks that you've been on your board for a year? I know how to make them just because it's not exactly to their taste doesn't mean that I'm doing it wrong. Is this a bartender who cared about what you wanted? Nope. Austin's unique, trying to keep it unique. No, you're being a fool. So here's the reality of it. You want to get behind the bar, you learn the frickin' drinks. Next, a customer does something you don't like, you don't treat them like a child. Use your inside voice. Are you going to use your inside voice? You're hey, bumming me out. Man. Good, I want to. 
If I bum you out, maybe you'll change. The first thing I saw when I walked in that bar is two people that were incredibly over intoxicated. One woman was sleeping on a couch. The other guy couldn't even talk. Bars must be responsible. We have a part to play in our communities. And over-serving, that's going to change right now. All right. John Taffer. Welcome. Nice Welcome to meet aboard. you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry nice to start to this you. way, but hasn't yes. this guy had too much to drink like Absolutely. five beers ago? Absolutely. I mean, he can't no. even walk home safely. Did you serve him? Right now. I have served him. Don't yet. you notice how drunk he is? I gave him water. You gave him water. Did you also serve him beer? No. Beforehand. That well, makes you irresponsible. When we're irresponsible and we hurt people, I get angry. Look at her. Look at how drunk she is. No. She can't even walk. She, she can't. So you got she bartenders who are over-serving them. No. Is this the way you run they your go. business? No, came the way like that. Excuse me. Let's get this guy out of no. here, okay? I don't want you to talk to my customer like this. What I live from is repeat customers. That was, I was completely offended when you spoke to that guy like that. Mistake, mistake, yes, right? Yeah, but you made a mistake too. You cannot talk to the customers like this. If you're here to help me, you cannot talk to my customers like that. His style is different. This is my business. He will have to consult with me. My philosophy is just as good. So what if I'm not a millionaire? Now, I want to share something with you. You came in here tonight. You put on your gloves, yes, right? Sir. Then you went out into the room with those gloves on. You touched people's clothes. He then came in here with that same glove, sprinkled it over the food. By the time you were finished in 10 minutes, this entire kitchen was cross-contaminated. It's time for me to go inside. This guy is the anti-owner. He's doing everything wrong that he possibly can. And the days of this club are numbered if I don't rescue it quick. I love to party. And I'm having a good time. When he comes in, he's all pissed off. Ooh, I'm scared. But you know what? Dude, he's here. <laughs> oh, John Taffer. I, I, I John. <coughs> How you doing? Good. Are you doing good? I, I so have heard of you. How drunk are you now? Because I've been watching you abuse your employees, disrespecting people. Yeah, because they suck. But they work for you, so if they suck, it's your fault, isn't it? Yes. So I'm... you're the one who sucks, not them. I know. Do you like being a failure? No, but... Are you I'm... losing $15,000 a month here? Yes. You think you're going to turn that around, cursing at your employees? I think they deserved it. They deserved it. Yeah. I say nobody deserves your abuse. Um, they deserve to be treated with dignity. How would you like it if I abuse you and tell you that you're a <laughs> Would you like it? I. I do you it, like when I talk to you that way? Why should they like it when you talk to them that way? If I do that, I'm a <laughs> aren't I? Right? Yes. So if you do it, aren't you a <laughs> too? There was no reason for to get like all that. Treat people like people. You don't talk to people like that. And, and my employees, they deserved it. Fill my drink, oh bitch. Paul's actions are gonna cause him and his employees to fail, and I'm here to turn that around. I am. You're the manager, I am. right? Don't you treat your employees you with dignity or get them out of here, one or the other? Does it serve you well to keep an employee here and then abuse them? No. How's he gonna treat Dude, the other employees? Give me a drink, bitch. I'm talking. Dude, well, give me my drink. Well, behave. Don't my drink. No, no, I think he's a drunk. I want some more Jenna Jackson. I'd like to see you sober, because as a drunk, I have no interest in talking to you. I want a drink, bitch. This is getting worse by the minute. Dude. I want you to get the employees angrier, I'm and thirsty. you're only going to make your debt worse. I'm thirsty. I try to talk with Paul. He looks at me and says, I'm thirsty. The guy's been drinking all night. Get him the hell out of here. When he's sober, I'll come back here tomorrow and fix this bar for you guys. Get yes. in the cab and go home, jerk. OK, give me a drink. I'll see you all tomorrow. This is why we're dead. Completely dead. Fill my drink. No. Fill. Really? You know that rule. When somebody's a wedding, listen, we're not serving listen, drinks. Listen to me. Drink. If you want to work here, give me a drink, I'll go home. This is your drink. You guys suck. You should be fired. Hey. Trust me, I, I, I know what I'm doing. This is just too much. I think when John gets to know me better, he <laughs> can learn something from me. And then John and I are going to party so he can tell me, oh my god, Paul, you are so right and now I'm so wrong.
Guys, my name is John Taffer. I have turned around over 800 bars. Is this a good friend of mine and one of the best mixologists in the world, Peter O'Connor? Peter is the master of whiskey for Diageo. So what I wanted to do now, Peter, is let's see what we got to work okay, with. Okay, no problem. How often do you clean the bar, guys? Uh, every night. I just want to show you this so you can see properly. Soda gun is clean, but how often do you clean this? Look at that. Look at this. How often do you clean that? What is that? That's sugar syrup. So there's flies in there, there's bacteria in there. That's an E. coli colony. And the soda gun is sitting in this. Like, that is just disgusting. You guys said you clean every day. I can't explain it. Laziness. Laziness. I it's laziness. laziness. That's laziness. all it is. Guys, come around here. I really want to show you this here. What is that on the glass? That's a roach. It? Oh, there's another one inside, John. Oh, that's disgusting. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Look at these roaches inside your beer cooler. Did you know that there were roaches here, Jameson? We found out a bunch of them were living under their printer machine back there. Let's go check the kitchen. Okay. Hey, Nick. John, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to dump this on top here. We got bugs there. And not only that, this says seasoned flour breader. And I open that up, and I'm seeing that in there. OK, that's disgusting. You know, guys, I'm trying to stay calm here. But when I see this, Todd, cockroaches in your flour. If there's roaches in here, there's roaches in a whole kitchen. It could be anywhere. I am going to get on the phone, and I am going to fumigate this building tonight. When this place has no roaches, then Nick and I will come back and go to work. There are bugs. we are back here all night. I've had my ass chewed by professional ass chewers, and John Taffer can't break me. Good morning. I had an exterminator come in here. He found roughly 14 colonies of German cockroaches. They carry literally hundreds of disease yeah. because you're irresponsible. Now, I need you guys to let us know. Now, I got to look like a because we got roaches. You're looking and blaming him. I'm not blaming anybody. He's making you look like a no. You made yourself look like a I take responsibility for Thank it. You. But I can't be every single spot you don't. every day. How about looking at him and saying, I'm sorry, I'm the owner. I'm not going to say that one right now. Why? Because. Did you know they were here? Yes. Look at him and apologize. I don't owe him an apology. So you I'm don't think take... you owe an apology to employees that are working in a roach-infested environment? The environment wouldn't be roach-infested if they were doing their jobs properly. It wouldn't be roach-infested if you were doing your job properly. I'm not going to apologize. You will not humble up. Mr. No. Ego? Not are on you... this. Rather than being accountable for having his employees work in a roach-infested bar, Todd passed the blame to the employees. Lizzie, what's wrong with this place? He can be mean. I'm a we got it. Put an exclamation point on it. No. Move on to teaching us some stuff then. I make the rules, not you. You've made the rules in this business so far. How the hell is that working? It's not working. So shut up and let me do my job, OK? All of you can picture customers that have come here and not come back, can't you? Yes, sir. I want you to see for a moment what customers see. Watch this. <laughs> So not our proudest moments. You're acting like children. All I was asking her, what was in it? Like, she doesn't she said, know. She said, we don't tell her. I don't know. Where are you doing? Hey. Stop talking What's going on? They're arguing. Yeah. Tell her to go sell the shots. Amanda, hey. Stop. Be, hey. Stop. Did you really just hit me in the face? Look at this. How dysfunctional this is. Ridiculous. Well, they're all arguing with each other. Yeah. Go! Sell the shots. Don't sit back here and bitch. Go sell them. That's how the bar on is at. Because you're a bitch. She's a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You guys are dumb. I just want to get up. Dude, stop being that way. Are you serious? Stop. Stop doing that then. So Amanda, the manager, and Sarissa, the shot girl, are arguing. Oh, they're going oh we got to fight. Let's stop this. They're beating the hell out of each other. She's hitting her. Stop. What are you doing? Are you are you Hold on. This you. is your bar. Wait a second. You're the manager of this bar. How uh, dare you disrespect shut that up. girl? God, get out of my way. Where's head. the owner of this bar? Get him out here now. Is this 
your manager? Do you allow her to beat up your employees? No. You have an employee beating her up. Her head hits that concrete. You're out of business. That's assault. If she got hurt, she could sue you. This is your representative. She's beating up an employee. Why aren't you upset? No, John, John. Why am I, I screaming wasn't out here? Not? I wasn't no. out here. I, I, I will scream at you all day long. I don't want to people never hit yell you. at my wife. I'm Matt, trying to save her You're not her talking ass. to her. You're Why yelling. Why don't you stick down. up for her a little bit? I am sticking up for her. You stick up for your business. I'm fighting for her you right now. Face. You stick up for your business. This girl will bury you. Fire her ass. If she's here tomorrow, I'm not. That's your choice. Good night. Thank you. I never even went inside this bar tonight. I broke up a fight in the parking lot, got in a fight with the owners, gave them an ultimatum, and left. That was my first night. Totally unproductive. Wait. A man have been the problem for so long. Since day one. Dragging your family down, dragging the bar down. And why was I on the ground? Seriously, you Tonight? asked for it all the time. I asked for that. I asked for that bitch to take me on the ground. Look at what they're doing. This is ridiculous. I've never seen this type of employee interaction in front of customers before. I mean, literally behind the bar. That's a joke. They're causing him to fail. Mm -hmm. We're here to stop him from failing, and it starts now. This bar is a free-for-all. There's no leadership. Jeff lost a million one, and he'll lose another million if he doesn't change his course immediately. Jeff. Jeff Simon, John Taffer. Let's go talk in the corner. Sir. Sure. So, you know, I'm here to help you. You have an accounting background, Yes, right? I do. Okay. 31 years. You know numbers. Right. A million and one you have into this? A factory? million and one plus. See, so you have your whole savings in this? I got nothing left. We don't turn this around. We're done. We're done. Absolutely. I watch your bartenders squirt each other with a soda gun. Right. Fight with each other. You're sinking, and they're causing it. I know. Here's the deal. Close the bar. Get the staff together for a minute. Absolutely. Your future starts now. Hey, Missy, call last call. We're closing for the night. All right, last. I'm really frustrated right now. My staff closed me down because their attitudes and the drama. Sit down. Get up my ass. Hey, guys, let's all get together for a meeting. Pull them all together for me, Jeff. Hi, guys. Hi. You know, we haven't met, but I've been watching you guys all night. Am I bothering you? No. How about facing me? This is your staff, Jeff? I'm sorry. She does not have an attitude. What do you do here, Randy? I'm an amazed man. How drunk are you right now? Am I drunk? You're, you're drunk, Randy. You're drunk? Yeah. How often does Randy get drunk? Every day. Every day. How many women have Randy chased out of this building? A few. A few. So what the hell do you do here other than cost him money? He's my security in the night. He's security? Actually, he does a good job. He's the one who should be carried out. You know what, Zachy? Protect his You can't even talk right now. Sit the hell down. That's the epitome of irresponsibility. Randy, sit down, please. Uh -huh. And I'm listen. Good. Sit down and listen. I'm good. Sit down and shut up for once. I'm shut asking the you. Up. Randy, I'm asking you. Randy, this. I'm asking This is the problem right Stop. here. Randy, you say you bitch to these girls in my presence again, I'll knock your ass out. You kiss my ass, John. Tag your feet. Apologize! I'm having somebody talk me this way? No. Nah. Randy, you need to listen no, to him. Kiss his ass. Yeah. I'm not kissing him. Ask you to kiss his ass. I said listen to him. He came here to help me. I'm gonna lose every thing I got. Do me a favor. What would you do if Done. you own this place? Done. I'm gonna tell you what. What would now. you do if you own this place? I can replace you in five minutes. I'm done, Jim. I'm not done. That's fine. I love you with all my heart. That's fine. Yeah, right. I love my you with heart. all my heart. That's fine. As he fucked them, right? That's fine. Is it fine, Jeff? I say you get the fuck out of here. See ya. What the damn hell's going on with this damn place? 
When you work with losers, you get a loser bar. When we work with winners, we have a winning bar. Guys, we gotta fix this place. A million, one hundred thousand hours, can you imagine that? He's gonna lose everything. Guys, I want us to be one team. I've watched you spray her down with a soda gun. I wanted her out from behind the bar. She was drunk. That's a liability. But you don't do it in a way that all the customers see. I feel like they don't respect me at all. Respect is earned. Every time that you drink, you're yelling demands that aren't even needed. I've got this. Jeff, your lack of leadership is causing this. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. I got to tough you up, buddy. Absolutely. I'm in here somewhere, I think. Right? <laughs>